So what's your definition on self-expression? Self-expression is being yourself. But the thing with that is nowadays we need a way to feel unique because it doesn't it doesn't feel good to be just part of the herd. We need to express ourselves and nowadays with different things like people expecting you to do these different things, different social norms. People can't be who they really are. You're expected too much from it. So how do you self-express yourself in a public area, like a school? I use self-expression in a public area. Dressing by the way I want to, uh, talking the way I want to. I don't buy into norms or expect expectations as much as other people. It has been an issue in the past because I think teenagers deal with this when they're getting older. They start to think that they have to be what's expected of them, but I went through phases where I convinced myself that my favorite color was pink because I wanted to be more girly. I started wearing uh, weird clothing that I thought was uh, popular, but it wasn't. I did that to try and fit in, and I do this almost yearly, where I just change my style just to feel normal. And I think a lot of teenagers have problems with feeling comfortable in their area with their friends just because they can't self-express the way they want to. Do you think that this gives suicidal thoughts in any way? I think that this gives some issues with depression and suicide because just being them is not being. When you look at people and maybe a year ago they were super fun, a year later they can just be super down, cold, closed in on to themselves. And it com comes with a lot of issues, especially with our new generation. Hyper-focused on being who they really are. And when they can't be that, they don't think that that's a reason to live. What advice do you give to people that follow the social media trends? My advice is just to find what you're comfortable with. Take time away from friends, from technology, to just find yourself. It gives you the time to realize who you really are. I think it's important for people to take these breaks so they can kind of realize who they are really inside without other people being around. Like in psychology, that's one of the main things they talk about is how group thought works, how it affects you, changes you, how it can completely mold your personality and your interests and everything just so you can be cool and loved. 